channel. If you're new, my name is Kristen and I would love for you to join the little family and subscribe to my channel. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and think it's really truly blah, blah, blah. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you really truly like it. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own setting spray. Yes, if you're like me and just go through setting spray like like that because, you know, I'll be using a shit ton of setting spray. So, I decided today is going to be the day where I make my own setting spray. I, mean, I, I always use... Can I talk? Please? Okay, thank you. I need to get this like a little popping. I go through setting spray quite often and I don't buy like the expensive kind. I just buy the ones from NYX which is like $6 but, but I know there are other setting sprays that are like 20-30 bucks and uh, that can get really pricey. So if you want to save some time and money then keep watching this video honey. Alright so I looked it up and you only need like three or four ingredients. So the first one is water. So this can be from a water bottle, distilled water, filtered water, purified water, whatever. So I just got some water from my fridge which is filtered and I just put it in my little San Francisco cup. So cute. The second ingredient is witch hazel which is a toner. I actually just got this from Target. This was like 11 bucks. Toners are really good because it's going to close your pores and make them... Excuse me. Toners are really good because it's going to close your pores so you won't clog your pores with like foundation and all that powders and shit. But these are going to save you money because you only need like a few teaspoons or tablespoons um, of each ingredient. The third ingredient is glycerin. I think everything you can just find at Target or Walgreens. Okay, so tablespoon. One tablespoon. Oh, this is half. This is a tablespoon. We're going to start with the glycerin. This little guy. Oh. Not open. I'm gonna dump it into this mixing bowl. Next, I'm adding three tablespoons of water. So I'm just gonna go into here. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix this. I'm just gonna use my tablespoon. And now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of witch hazel. And that is basically it. Now I'm just going to pour it into a spray bottle. I'm just going to be using my spray bottle from NYX. I actually ran out of my setting spray, so I'm just going to pour it into here because I don't have another spray bottle. I hope I don't spill this. Wow, that fit it perfectly. Okay. So those ingredients fit perfectly in a 2.03 fluid ounce spray bottle. So I already set my face and everything so I'm actually not going to use this right now but I will use it tomorrow and let you know how it is. That's it. Oh my god I can't believe how easy that was. That literally took me like two minutes to make. I can't believe I spent like six dollars each time I bought setting spray from NYX. Like this is so easy to make. Um, this has, actually has a very strong scent because of the rose petal in the witch hazel. You know when you're sensitive to if you're someone who's really sensitive to fragrance, then you might not like this. Um, it doesn't bother me too much. It's just that when I smell fragrance for a long time, I develop a migraine. So that's like a bad thing. But you don't have to put this specific toner in there. You can use our toner with no fragrance. Um, you can use apple cider vinegar. It's just that, you know, if you like that scent or not. I'm pretty sure you can use like a regular vinegar, like distilled vinegar that has no scent. But vinegar does have scent, so never mind. But I like the smell of vinegar because it's the Filipino in me. So that is how you make setting spray. Let me know in the comments if you think uh, a setting spray is just way overpriced because um, did you just see how easy that was to make? But yeah, I'll be trying this out. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. I'll probably do that in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and think it was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also, don't forget to hit your post notifications so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. And I think I want to try like a new thing. Like a lot of YouTubers do this, but I think it's um, actually really cool and I actually think I want to start shouting out people who just show like a lot of love on my channel my Instagram my Twitter yeah Twitter <laughs> I don't I just started using Twitter so Twitter Facebook Instagram YouTube whatever all that stuff snapchat but I really appreciate those who watch my videos and I want people to know who they are and be able to see uh, you know their faces and whatnot so yeah I'll be shouting out you guys so if you want a shout out in my future videos then you know what to do thank you again stay caked stay fierce and I'll see you in the next one bye